lying and using people, I got you. This one needs background to fully understand why I went out of my way for this revenge. My best friend was married for 10 years. With his ex for a total of 13 years, he was absolutely head over heels in love with her like I had never seen before, which I never understood due to her alcohol abuse. She would take it out on him, and when he'd be venting about it, he'd always fall back on, it's not her, it's the illness. A very respectable and admirable stance on it. Last year, she asked for a divorce because, after years of what I would call abuse, he had simply run out of gas. Her reasoning for asking for one? When she got fired for testing positive for weed, he wasn't empathetic enough. He admits he wasn't, because it had come on the back of one of her drunken tirades where she told him he was a piece of shit who was always trying to control her. When all the ever tried to get her away from was booze for the way she treated him when she was drunk. It took him forever to move on from this, with the divorce following shortly after. And earlier this year, after thinking he was moving on, he calls me to come over and he's in a bad way. I arrive, and he is absolutely fall-down level of drunk. Going on that she didn't ask for a divorce for those reasons that she had really been cheating with several other people. The next morning when he's more coherent, I ask him how he knew. He was cleaning out the spare room and selling donating stuff he didn't need anymore. And when he went to clear an old tablet, she was still logged on and all of the evidence was there. He gets that out and says he's going back to bed and asks me to lock up when I leave. Before I left, I looked at the tablet. After seeing what I saw, I wanted to find a way to get even with the horrible and conniving woman, so I took pictures of it all and left. When I got home, I started looking up information about these people. Two of them were just normal guys. Whether they knew she was married or not, I don't know. But the third? Well, the third comes up as a registered sex offender still on probation for being such a disgusting pile of shit, and address listed as 123 Lane City State. Chomo knew that she was married. I immediately knew what I was gonna do. Chomo didn't live at 123 Lane. Chomo was living with the conniving ex. She made regular posts about their time together. On top of that, she is an avid weed user and has several firearms because she enjoys sport shooting. So I go into the state offender site and make a report of Chomo not actually living where he's registered, and that Chomo is living in a home with what he has no right to being a convicted felon and on parole. I include screenshots of the social media posts and all to back it up. I was thinking little would happen, but an inconvenience to their lives. Boy, was I wrong. She broke her typical posts with nothing serious trend on social media yesterday. With this gem. My year can't get any worse. Chomo lost his job, and I am now facing eviction because I can't afford my rent. So I go on the state court system site to see if it's related. And yes, it was. Chomo was rearrested. She clearly can't post bail or Chomo would be out. The job she took after being fired definitely can't support her lifestyle. So he's probably going back to prison or at least jail, and she's a breath away from being homeless. I don't know if I'd ever tell my best friend I was the one behind this. But he is definitely ecstatic to see a horrible woman and sewer rat get what they deserve. Part of me wants to put up the offender registration link and that it's sitting in jail and say something to the effect of, it's a little more than losing a job, but not wanting to make my best friend's life harder. I'll just let sleeping dog lie.